This video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video we're going to learn how to uh, mask a photo with itself. So it's a self-masked photo and it generally results in sort of like a glowing romantic effect uh, that is a little bit different from what we've seen probably uh, previously in uh, some other tutorials. This one is a little bit more uh, a little bit more straightforward as it were. Um, it tends to blow out the highlights but then again it gives out uh, some, some glow effect as well. So uh, it can work uh, on some of your photos. Um, it may not on some others. So let's just uh, see what we can do here. Now obviously in this photo here we have uh, quite a little bit of, of whites here that will get blown out by this effect. Obviously it will be a very nice uh, warm glowing effect but obviously we'll lose the details here on the dress which is it's almost entirely lost anyways but any of these details we're gonna lose here and obviously these parts over here if you're comfortable with that then we can move on uh, and show you how, how this effect uh, looks and you can compare in contrast to see if that was worthwhile to apply to something that has quite a bit of whites like this or if you want to restrain this effect to uh, and only apply it to some other photos where you don't have such a predominance in white because it will result in very uh, a little bit lighter more glowing uh, more vibrant um, photo so it can work pretty well in, in a range of photos here so first thing we need to do here is just uh, duplicate our layer so we're just gonna do a, a control and J and add another layer put it in between here and fill it in with white and I did that with uh, control and backspace since white is my uh, background color here. So we have just a duplicate of our image and the white layer in between. Right, okay, now uh, here's the part where we mask the photo with itself. What we do is we do a Control and A to copy the whole uh, layer, the top layer here. We're going to do a Control and C to copy it. We're going to deselect and then we're going to add a layer mask. And inside of this layer mask what we need to do here is uh, do an Alt and click. Once you alt and click, you know you've done this correctly once your image turns to white. Um, alt and clicking, you've probably seen this before, what we do is when you alt and click you're actually viewing the uh, the mask itself. Not the effect of the mask on the layer, but the mask itself. And obviously the mask is empty, it's white, so we're viewing a white canvas here. And uh, by viewing your mask we can now copy, uh, we can now paste, sorry, we can now paste our image that we've copied on. Um, to to the layer mask here. So we're going to do a Control and V, and we've pasted our uh, copied layer into the layer mask. So we have the image masking itself, right? So we're going to go ahead and do an Alt and click again, and now you can see the effect of that. And what it's doing is it's masking out here the the shadows, and what's coming out white here is the uh, all the other details that are coming out as white because we have white here. So things that are being masked out are turning into white. Obviously this isn't very much of a nice effect to have. We want to sort of have the opposite. So what we can do here still with our uh, layer mask selected is just do a control and I to invert that, uh, that selection there. So now we're just affecting the highlights. So we're masking out the highlights um, and turning them into white. And that's why I said you actually lose a lot of the whites with this technique is because uh, all of your highlights t turn actually to white but it will give you a nice glow effect and the way that we get to this nice glow effect is by still remaining in our layer mask here don't don't move out of it remaining in our layer mask we're going to filter blur and Gaussian blur and with Gaussian blur the more radius you apply the more blurry effect that you'll get so we're gonna stick around for this image here at three pixels click OK and now what we want to do here is uh, just merge our two layers here together. So we're going to select our first layer and the second layer. We're going to merge this. We're going to merge these layers because now we're going to duplicate this image, this layer here. So we're going to do a Control and J. And with this, we're just going to punch up the colors a little bit more because they're a bit, they're a bit faded. So what we can do here is uh, do a multiply. That'll bring it back a bit. But uh, it'll tend to uh, make the... Um, the, the shadows, which weren't affected, right? The shadows weren't affected in this uh, much. Uh, we are duplicating it, so we're making it uh, a, a bit too aggressive. We're losing detail here on the hair. So we can pull that back by changing our opacity down to something a little bit lower. So you want to go for something not higher than 70%, 60%, thereabouts. We're going to stick around with 60% here. And now we're going to add an adjustment layer, a, a hue and saturation. And we're just going to pump up the colors here because I'm we'll just click OK here to show you before. Uh, we had uh, a more vibrant color here on the roses, for example. So we can bring that back a bit or as much as you'd like, really, by just adjusting our saturation here 
and bringing it more saturated. Now, you don't want to go too overboard, obviously. This doesn't look quite right, but you can saturate it quite a bit. So anywhere between like 25%, 20% all the way for this image here, I'd say safely around 40%, 50%. So we're going to stick around for middle here. We're going to go for like 30 35 here, plus 35 on the saturation. Click OK, and you can always see the before and the after and see how much you've added there. And so that pretty much concludes it. Let me just show you here with the before and the after on the whole uh, set here. So we have the before here, the, the image as it was taken, and the after here. And we have a lot more of that warmer, glowy effect. And it's, the colors are still pretty much saturated. Uh, we've lost some of the highlights over here, but obviously that becomes part of of the image, of the uh, you know of your intent to actually make the image warmer and brighter, as if it were like a very intensely lit situation here. L lots of warmth to this image. So if this is to your liking, go ahead and save and move on to your next image. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website, and we'll create even more videos that interest you.